Hello, my earth sign. So this is for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is your um, love reading for December 2019. And we'll take a look at the current energy of your relationship or you and your person. Um, take a look at their energy, your energy, and then possibly what is what is coming for you guys here. This will not resonate with everybody. This is a general reading. If you would like to request a personal reading, my information is down below. I am not charging for those at this time, so please let me know if that's something that you are interested in because I would love to do that for you. And yeah, and thank you to all my new subscribers for the beautiful comments. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos that I will be posting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm just going to get a few cards or how many, however many fall out for your, the current energy between you and your person. Okay, so whoever you have in mind right now when it comes to love. Spirit, what is the current energy um, for this relationship here? Okay, those, those wanted to come out for sure. So let's just start with these here. So we have the void. Okay, we have, I'll show you that. We have the void and protection. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm getting here that you guys are probably not in communication right now. Some kind of separation occurred. Um, and because protection is reversed, it's making me feel that this person possibly betrayed you or somebody betrayed somebody here. Okay. And <clears throat> you don't feel very secure. Okay. Or somebody isn't feeling secure enough in this situation to come into union or bring this this relationship into fruition here so you guys are definitely in some kind of void between the two of you and i feel like it's because of fear of getting hurt somebody did hurt somebody here because there's a sense of not feeling secure okay and i got two here and then we have action and we have creation so with the action card, somebody wants to take action towards somebody. Even though, you know, you guys, there's definitely some sense of not feeling stable, not feeling secure. There's a fear going on that this person's going to hurt you again, or that maybe they don't feel the same way about you, okay? Um, somebody definitely wants to take action to make this to come out of this void okay and with creation obviously they want to create something new and that could be either you or your person okay so i'm definitely seeing that you've been in a void um there's some insecurities going on but somebody wants to take action and create something new and come out of this void because you know this person this woman here is sitting in darkness but there's light that she's staring at so it's definitely somebody wants to come out of this void so i'm gonna get the masculine's energy okay so this is just for you know energy is fluid so whatever you resonate if you resonate with the masculine energy then this is your energy okay if your person's a masculine this is their energy what's going on with the masculine right now spirit oh <laughs> came out in his own reading the masculine but he's reversed and then we have gratitude okay i'm definitely seeing here that it's the masculine that's feeling insecure okay so the masculine being reversed he's not feeling in his complete power right now um possibly i mean maybe he hurt you in the past and that's what's what's holding this relationship up keeping you guys in this void so he's hesitant because um he doesn't know if you're gonna take him back okay but he wants to take action i feel like there's there's a sense of urgency here he wants to create something new with you or with the feminine and and then we have gratitude being reversed and this is you know i'm picking up that 
it's either him, the masculine, sensing that you don't have gratitude towards him because of something he might have done in the past to you. And he's also not showing too much gratitude to himself right now. He's having a hard time coming into his power and, and taking action even though he really wants to, okay? Because I feel like the masculine's a little afraid that you're going to reject him and he doesn't want to, you know, get hurt in that way or, but I also am picking up that he's not going to give up, okay? Um, this could also just be, you know, maybe the feminine hurt the masculine, okay? And he's feeling really upset, depressed still about it but wants to give the feminine a second chance. This could also very well be that, okay? Um, but is also a little hesitant because he, the masculine doesn't want to be hurt again as well. So it definitely could be reversed here. Um, let's get one more or whatever comes out for the masculine. What, one more, perfect. Yep, exactly. So he's definitely assessing. He's assessing this relationship, this connection, um, trying to prepare, trying to get all of his ducks in a row before he comes in. He doesn't want to come in without stability, okay? He wants to definitely create something with the feminine here and come out of this void, but he doesn't want it to be, you know, he wants to come in as that, that king, that prince, that, that knight coming in to save his princess, you know what I mean? So, he, I feel like he's really trying to come back into his power because he hasn't been there and he's struggling with that right now. He's struggling, okay? And he's really looking ahead and trying to assess what the best way to go about this is, okay? So let's see what's going on with Miss Feminine. What's going on with you, girl? Spirit. What is the current energy of the feminine? Okay. Resilience. Okay. And then we have purity. So with resilience being reversed, this is telling me the feminine is also not feeling very resilient. She's, the feminine's kind of hesitating, I guess. Not sure if, if they can bounce back, if you and the masculine or the feminine and the masculine can bounce back from whatever it is that took place that jolted you into this void of separation. Um, sorry about that. So yeah, the definitely feeling that the feminine is not sure if they, you know, her and the masculine here can, can bounce back from this. Um, but at the same time, the feminine here is craving a fresh, pure, clean, new start, okay? That's what I get from purity when I look at this card because it's like a clean slate here. Snow. It's fresh. A fresh cover of snow. So I feel like the feminine wants, wants a new beginning here. So I feel like the action and the creation cards are definitely both the masculine and the feminine together here because you both want to take action and create something new, a fresh new start, but you're still both very hesitant because you're not sure if you can bounce back from this, okay? And the feminine with discernment being in reverse, the feminine's having a hard time, you know, using her discernment. So the mind is, is playing tricks on the feminine, okay? The feminine can't really differentiate between her intuition and her heart, those two things, and then her fear-based thoughts, okay? So it's like the feminine's heart is telling her to be with the masculine, forgive, forget, move on, let's start over. Um, but at the same time, her thoughts are getting in the way. Her fear-based thoughts are getting in the way, and, and she's not quite sure if they can bounce back from this. So you both are really, they're both hesitant here. The masculine and the feminine are very hesitant because something definitely happened in the past. Somebody could have cheated. Somebody could have just lied. Um, you just could have start, started fighting and just felt off balanced and decided to take a break and have been in this void, okay? But I definitely see um, you guys want to take action, okay? 
and the masculine's definitely assessing the situation. He's he could very well be because see how <coughs> the person in the balloon there has like a telescope there. Yeah, that's a telescope, right? <laughs> I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, could be watching you on social media very well, feminine. I mean, you know. <sighs> Watching you from afar is what I'm hearing, okay? Really trying to see if it's a good time to come in on this is what I'm picking up. I'm just going to get a couple more to kind of clarify and see what's possibly coming for the two of you. So we have rest and rejuvenation, okay? Um, the temple path reversed. And contract reversed okay so with the rest and rejuvenation I see um, you two going through a period of rest and rejuvenation okay which I feel like you already have been um, but I'm also hearing as well union and then you two resting and rejuvenating together so recuperating from this together okay that's kind of more of the feeling I'm picking up here um, and then Let's see. With contract being reversed, I feel like something is coming, definitely coming to an end. I don't feel like it's you two because you both want to take action towards each other. Um, but if someone is with somebody else at this point, that's definitely coming to an end. It can also indicate just um, this void. This void that you guys have been in is, is, is coming to an end. But something is definitely coming to an end and it's not between the masculine and the feminine here because you guys are really wanting to take action. I'm gonna... <coughs> Bless me. Usually there's a second one. Okay, no. Just the one. Just the one sneeze. So something's coming to an end here and then with rest and rejuvenation, I just see you two doing this together. And this, what I'm picking up is like, maybe you both are very spiritual. Maybe you, um... You know, because see how he's just, you know, kind of meditating here. Maybe you guys reconnecting in a way that brings you closer. Being more open and honest about how you truly feel deep down inside. And this brings you into a period of rest and rejuvenation. So rejuvenating this, this relationship here. Reviving it. Right? Bringing it back to life here. Because something's coming to an end. So it can make room for union, for this new creation that wants to come in between the two of you. And then we have temple path in reverse. So this one can indicate several things. Um, hmm, you know what? Give me a minute here because that's, that's a little off-putting. So the temple path, let me just get what spirit's trying to, you know what? I'm just going to get one for clarification for that because I'm a little thrown off. Can you please clarify? Ooh, I got too many there. Spirit, will you clarify the temple path in reverse, please? Okay, that's fine. So we got beauty and sovereignty. Okay, so what I'm picking up now is... Okay, this is what I'm hearing. The masculine feels like without you, he's not on his heart's true path. Okay? And that's why he's going to take action. That's what I'm hearing because I'm seeing the feminine here, the goddess of, or the queen of the moon, and then beauty. So these two together, it's like his eyes are completely on you. He has been watching you. Okay? He cannot get you out of his mind. You are his goddess. You are his queen. You are the most beautiful thing to him. And he feels like without you, he's not on his heart's true path. Okay? So this is destined. He feels like he cannot break this connection. That's what I'm seeing here. And what's going to happen is, is the temple path is going to flip. He's, you know, he's going to make this happen. The masculine is. Definitely seeing the masculine taking action here towards the feminine so 
So that definitely could mean, and with the contract ending, that could also indicate him breaking something off, some kind of situation he is currently in that's that's making him feel powerless, that's halting this. Um, moving, okay, quitting his job, some kind of binding situation is coming to an end. But this could be for either of you, okay? But I definitely see that he has been feeling that He's never going to feel content um, when it comes to love and relationships unless he's with his feminine here. Okay? And I, I'm also picking up that this is a spiritual type of connection because you have the temple path. You have rest and rejuvenation. It's like a... Um, definitely could be, you know, a twin flame, soulmate, fated connection. However, whatever you believe in, however you look at that. But he's definitely looking at the feminine as his goddess and wants to take action, okay? And it's it's feeling inevitable because I don't think the masculine is going to be able to fight this feeling anymore when it comes to Miss Feminine. So whatever happened between the two of you, you both want a, a fresh start. You both are feeling this pull towards each other. And some, somebody's taking action. And I definitely feel like it is the masculine because he's been watching the feminine and assessing the situation, making sure it's safe to come in because he loves the feminine so much. He doesn't want to disrupt anything going on in her life right now. Okay. So I'm going to get, these are my tiny little archangel cards. And I really like, I mean, when I first got them, I was like, these are really tiny. I'm used to the bigger ones, but these are so like easy to shuffle. And I'm actually appreciating the size now. So I'm just going to get a couple, some advice from the angels. Alrighty. What advice do you have for my earth signs? Got one here. Creative writing. Okay. Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or a book. So definitely one of you could be a writer, okay? Um, and to maybe sort out all these these thoughts going on in, in you know, your head here, you can write things down. It, I'm also picking up somebody might be writing a letter, like an actual handwritten letter. Could also come in the form of an email or a text, but I feel like some kind of communication is coming in in a beautiful, because it's creative writing here, okay? I feel like somebody is really good at writing and has a, is, is really good at expressing themselves through their writing. Poetry, music even, okay? That's kind of what I'm picking up here. So what other advice? Ooh. Life review. Life review. Archangel Jeremiel, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Yes. So I feel like you both are definitely, the angels are kind of saying, take a step back, listen to your intuition in your heart. What is it that's making you feel off balance right now? Okay. Um, and I think what's going to happen here, because I'm seeing that you both want a fresh start together. So what I think it is, is the fact that you're not together. And it says in resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. And that's what's coming. The angels are saying that's what's going on right now. Is you both are trying to resolve what is out of balance right now. And come back together. And one more. Yes, overcoming difficulties. Oh, you got Archangel Jeremiel twice. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it says the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So there you go. Okay. Whatever you guys went through in the past is coming to an end. Okay. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges right there. You guys are ready to let this go and give it another another shot. And I definitely, like I said, I feel like somebody will be communicating and that through text, email, or literally a handwritten letter coming in the mail. I see some kind of communication coming in because the masculine has been watching the feminine and is not feeling in his complete power without her. He wants his goddess. 
he wants you know i see union coming if the feminine is ready to give it a second go here okay which i think she will because she wants a fresh new start that's what i'm seeing okay so that is your love reading for december 2019 please let me know if this resonated or brought you any any kind of clarity or if you have um a request for you know a personal reading my email is down below so let me know okay thank you so much for watching bye